Trans music elements. There is no easy way to categorize trans. The genre of music we call trans has a very few rules or patterns that must be followed in order for it to be considered trans. This being said, trans is for sure the area of electronic dance music that has more branches and subgenres than any other. However, in the eyes of a producer, this is a great thing. Instead of being limited by a strict pattern of conduct, the possibilities in this type of music are almost endless. So what makes trance different from house music or techno will also vary. Particular use of synthesizers and the associated scene surrounding trance atmosphere and its use of repetition. It was until the mid 90s that trance really began to gain popularity and its popularity rose, so did the amount of trance subgenres. There is deep trance, dark trance, psi trance, and the progressive trance we know today are among the few that have their roots during this period. The best way to generally describe the trance genre is that of dance music based around riffs and anthems, which can be either be high energetic or very chilled out. So here I made already in Logic Pro 9 a sketch for you with some riffs, leads, plugs, strings, a bass line and a couple of loops and drums to create a more high energetic uh, style of electronic music. So let's hear first the more driven part, the percussion part of trance. <laughs> This is quite driven, the tempo is a bit lower set because it's more progressive trance as we call this. So it's set to 132 BPM. We have a bass drum, a clap with a little bit of reverb on the FX bus and a hi-hat loop. So let's add like a bass line so we have more this rolling effect. <laughs> So as you can hear also most trance is built around the 404 beat and a lot of trance can be very uplifting and that proves the next part where we add here the lead riff which brings everything more to euphoria. <laughs> As you can hear, it's very up-tempo and uplifting and often euphoric, energetic, synthesized sounds pumped by a massive beat and hooks and often with uh, really long breakdowns uh, building up slowly to create a tension and expectancy on the dance floor. There is, of course, another part we always can keep adding on trans strings and there are also some, we call it, plugs. <laughs> So for this sketch I had like a plug sound, we call it a lead to make things euphoric, a bass line and we had claps, hi-hat and a bass drum to have this energetic sound. So now that you know all the glorious subgenres that make up trance and where trance came from, go out and try it yourself.